Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus and here's your word for the day. You know what I love about the Psalms is how honest they are. As followers of Jesus, we are gonna be going through trials and tribulations. We are, because we live in a fallen and broken world because of sin. And sometimes we feel like we can't be open and honest with God about how we really feel about what's really going on in our hearts and our minds when we're going through those tough times. So I wanna encourage you today that you can go to God. You can go to our Father and talk to Him about how you're really feeling. Listen to what it says in Psalm 137. It says this, By the waters of Babylon there we sat down and wept when we remembered Zion. On the willow trees we hung up our lyres. For there our captors required of us songs and our tormentors mirth, saying, Sing us one of those songs from Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. Let my tongue stick to the roof of my mouth. If I do not remember you, if I do not set Jerusalem above my highest joy, remember, O Lord, against the Edomites the day of Jerusalem. How they said, lay it bare, lay it bare, down to its foundation. O daughter of Babylon, doomed to be destroyed. Blessed shall he be who repays you with what you have done to us. Blessed shall he be who takes the little ones and dash them against the rocks. Wow, that can be a troubling psalm to hear because it is so honest. Look, they're in captivity. And their captors wanted them to sing a song to them. So they do. And it's a song of payback. It's a song of vengeance. They sang an honest song of how they really felt. You see, there are moments in your life where you've been wrong, you've been hurt, you've been victimized. And you may have felt like getting revenge or taking vengeance yourself because, well, that's how you feel. But don't let those moments dominate your life. And don't let those moments become your identity. Remember, you're a follower of Jesus Christ, so your identity is in Christ. Remembering that vengeance belongs to Him, and it is the Lord who will repay. So what do we do with these strong and honest feelings? We pray. But not just a general prayer, okay? Pour out how you really feel. Be honest with God, and don't hold back. It's going to come out eventually. Remember, the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So instead of taking it out on family and friends, give it to God. Trust me when I say He can handle it. He is the only one who can. So will you trust God today with how you really feel, with how you've been feeling, and let go of what you've been holding on to, and then trust in His redemptive power, knowing that for those who love God, all things work together for good. God redeems when we're open and honest with Him. I hope you do. God bless you and have a wonderful day.